Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the communication methods in mobile computing. So basically, I am not discussing the communication methods in mobile computing. So these are just some kind of communication methods which any device can use. Okay, so the device can be in a fixed position or a mobile position. Like fixed means it cannot move from one place to another place. Right. So while it is in use, I mean to say, okay, yes. So the best example for it could be your computer, right? Yes. So basically it should be having a connection directly to the power supply. So if you remove it, it will not work. Okay. Yes. So in that way, so it is indirectly a fixed one. Similarly, mobile. So your mobile phone will be the best example for the mobile. Okay. Similarly, wired and wireless. So the connection between the data transmission or anything you can say. So if it is having some particular wire for data transfer, like you are a, for your computer, you will be having a LAN wire, right? Or Ethernet ports, few will be saying, right? Yes. So th that will be coming under wired and similarly wireless is nothing but Wi-Fi connection. Okay. Yes. So this is just an introduction you can say. So now let us go through some combinations, guys. Okay. So some mobile devices can be wired also guys. So it is a movable device, but it will be having a wire. Okay. So basically these are some kind of workstations you can say. So which will work only in that particular region guys. So basically in some companies I never heard in reality like how they work really. But online whenever I am searching I am finding these kind of definitions only. So that's the reason why I have written it guys. Okay. So some company laptops which work only in the office with their respective LANs only. So basically in I, I think mostly in, in banks or somewhere where there are data is really confidential there there is a possibility of these kind of systems guys so basically these are some laptops you can say okay so these are laptops whenever connected with the office internet using a lan wire with a wired connection so only then these laptops will turn on and you can work on them whenever you try to connect your home wi-fi or anything that's a movable laptop right yes whenever you try to connect your home wi-fi or anything it will not turn on like it will not log in into your account or something right yes so that is nothing but a movable device with wired okay similarly fixed and wired so the best example for this is your pc or your desktop which we will be using in our homes usually right yes similarly fixed and wireless okay so nowadays Many of us are using some kind of IoT devices, right? So they'll be calling them as smart home systems and all those things, right? Yes. So basically they are fixed at some position, right? Yes. So let us take a small example. So assume that you went to an hotel. Okay. So inside your room or outside in the corridor, there is a smoke detector, right? Yes. So I'm giving just a small example. Okay? So assume that this smoke detector sends the information. So whenever there is any kind of smoke, it will send the information to someone. Okay, so wirelessly. So it is connected to the hotel. Let just an example, guys. So assume that it is connected to the hotel Wi-Fi, and with the help of that Wi-Fi, it will send the information to a particular guy. So here this device is fixed in this hotel, right? Yes. But the connection in between the Wi-Fi and this is wireless. So in this way, some IoT devices can be functional, guys. Okay. Yes. Similarly, the last type is nothing but the mobile and wireless. So basically, these are a smartphone. So basically, you can move along with them and they are they can transfer the data wirelessly. Okay. Yes. So these are nothing but the mobile and GSM. Okay. Yes. So I hope everyone got some basic idea about these combinations, right? Of communication mediums. Okay. So in the next lecture, we'll be discussing the difference between the wired network and wireless network. Like, are there any advantages in any one of them? So we'll be discussing about them in our next lecture. Thank you. Thanks for watching.